Welcome everyone to my channel, Vegan Victoria. In this episode, we have a registered dietitian. Her name is Taisia. She'll be taking us on a journey of the five senses. We'll be doing a mindful eating exercise together. So this an exercise, um, it's pretty classical exercise in a mindful eating. Um, and that's the exercise that I did with some of my patients, um, either one-on-one or I did it in group class. Um, and it takes about, you know, a few minutes. Like maybe Okay, maybe excellent. Minutes. Good, good, good. I have a uh, dried cranberry here. I didn't have raisin. And, and Taisi have, has currants, and I love currants actually more than raisins. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, never, I, didn't, I didn't have raisin in the house. And, you know, we actually had that question. We asked uh, Jen, like, you know, why raisins? And um, right. she said it's just for simplicity. Raisins are always available. Uh, and it's, everybody knows raisins. Um, mm -hmm. Very few people dislike raisins. And then, and then it just becomes when you try to, you know, as a, as a facilitator, this is kind of like channel two, as a facilitator, when you try to accommodate everybody's preference, then it's like, I like cranberries. I like currants. Like, no, mm -hmm. raisins. Everybody yeah. raisins. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> <Fun> raisins. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of the story but behind it uh, ah, thank you for like, that <laughs> yeah i was wondering it can be anything. special about raisins. no it can be anything yeah anything. excellent so this is like a, a, a sample of uh the experience mm. yeah and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay attention uh, to eyes first like what we see then we're gonna um, uh, go into touch and then we're gonna go into smell and then we're gonna go into mm. hearing and then taste so it's five so we're going to look at look at the uh, raisins or whatever you have in um, mm -hmm. menu and just look at the texture and mm -hmm. just notice so mindful eating is about being non-judgmental like mindfulness mm -hmm. is about being aware of what's uh, what is and so in this case you're mindful like, or with presence looking at what's in front of you and just noticing the color again uh, the, you know the texture like the size so just noticing uh, the object in front of you. And then bring your attention to the touch. And so, you know, you're holding it in between your two fingers. Um, just bring attention to your to touch. And maybe like, maybe if you want, squeeze a little just to see like, what is, is it soft? Is it hard? Is it smooth? Is it rough? Just notice. There's nothing like to say good, uh, bad, right, wrong. Just noticing. And then the next one is the smell. So we're going to bring it to our nose and just take a smell. Like, what are you noticing? What does it smell like? Sweet, sour. Just like that plate that Lisa showed us, you know, those questions. Is it crunchy? Is it sweet? Is it sour? And after that, we're going to uh, listen to it. And we typically don't listen to our food. And actually, food has, has sound. So I'm going to take one earbud out. I think you can still hear me. Um, and you're just going to maybe roll it in between your fingers and just hear that sound. What is it like? I'm just noticing, just being curious, you know, with the curiosity. Yeah. And then finally, we're going to put it in our mouth. And we're going to, not going to bite it just yet. We're just going to put it in our mouth. Maybe roll it in our mouth in between, even between with the tongue, just to notice again the what is the texture, what is the taste, is there any taste? And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and bite into that. And then maybe just again slowly chewing it to get more taste and noticing what happens as the taste gets released. Put the ear back. What happens as the taste gets released? Like what happens in the mouth? Like what is the physiological reaction? Like the more saliva is producing, where maybe like there's, maybe there's aversion. Or maybe there's like, hmm, taste. Oh, it's sweet, I like this. Maybe there's some memories popping up. It's like, oh, raisins. I used to eat them when I was a child. And raisin bran. Oh, whatever. Mm. 
And when you're ready, go ahead. If you haven't swallowed it, go ahead, swallow it. And also notice that progression, like, you know, the swallowing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And so this is, again, like a kind of a taster of like being present with food. I mean, would not necessarily, it's not practical for us to sit and then do this with every single bite that we do. <laughs> no, but then, you know, this type of exercise allows us to actually like see the behind of mindful eating, like what actually happens, um, you know, and then again, building the awareness. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that was excellent. Oh, good. Yeah, and it can be done with any food, really. Great. I've never done anything like that, you know, to go through those five steps. And I don't think I've ever given, you know, the food that type of appreciation, like, wow, how does it, you know, make a sound? And, and even the reaction I, I had from the cranberry, the sweetness, and then even that tartness that came in, I could feel my tongue reacting. And, and that, that really fun gummy texture to chew into. Uh, and, and then even in that moment, it was so quiet I didn't hear the, you know, the busy streets outside and it was just uh, myself and the cranberry and, and your sweet voice and what an experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it that becomes awesome. like a meditation. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. I got to really enjoy that, that one morsel and feel also just calmer and, and just more like alert and present. Yeah, what a fun exercise, you know, even to uh, do with kids. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I think I did the, the, do that with kids, not too many, because mostly I work with adult population. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I did, and and it was it was successful. <laughs> we do learn so much from them. They're so observant and present with the world. I'm getting present to how much, um, yeah, we don't get to really appreciate and observe, you know, what's all right in front of us.